Haley and our daughter Grace, they got on a, a similar train from Newcastle and they went down to King's Cross because they were going to see a show. They loved the show, they loved the theatres, and they went to see Matilda. I think it was Matilda in the West End in London. So off they went on the six o'clock in the morning train. It's about three, uh, three and a bit hours, all the way down to King's Cross. They have their breakfast, they do some shopping, they go around and they have some food, and then they go to the Matilda sort of matinee performance, and then they get on the late train back, and they, it's a big, long, crazy day. I'm at home, I'm sat in the kitchen, Elliot, our son, he comes downstairs, we're having breakfast together, remember? His mum and sister have gone off to London for the day, and Elliot turns to me. He says, Daddy, can we go on a big train? I said, yeah. But we're not going to go all the way down to London, that'll be a bit of a crazy three and a half hours, then another three and a half hours, a bit of a crazy one, Elliot. But we'll go on a big train, we'll just go on maybe it's a shorter journey. He said, okay. So we got to Newcastle Central Station. Oh, by the way, this is Elliot. Elliot got a bigger R than Tom Hardy. <laughs> That's interesting. I wonder where he gets it from. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Get to the ticket office. Walks into the ticket office, and there at the counter, there's a lady behind the counter, and I walked up to the ticket office, and I said, um, next big train, please. She said, what? I said, next big train. She said, what do you mean? I said, my son loves big trains. He doesn't want a small train. He wants a big train. I says, I don't want any crazy journey. I just want whatever you've got coming up next, north or south, about 45 minutes to an hour. So north is kind of Berwick up to Edinburgh, uh, about time-wise. Time and then south is about York. It's about an hour, about York. I says, whatever you've got next. In 11 minutes' time, there's a train going to Edinburgh. It stops off at Berwick. I said, fantastic. I'll have two tickets. She said, how old's your son? I said, he's four. Under fives are free. He doesn't need a ticket. ka <laughs> It's good news. Just saved us some money. When you see the opportunity to save a customer money, you take it, don't you? Or maybe he's not. That's good. <laughs> Just said, ching, brilliant. He doesn't need a ticket. But I think you'd like one. What's his name? Elliot. She took out a blank ticket and she picked up a pen and she wrote three words. She leant over the counter and she goes, there you go, Elliot. Have a great trip. His face lit up. We walked out of the office, and we walked towards the platform, and I'm looking around, and he's still beaming. He's still beaming. And I said, you all right? He said, Daddy, look. Oh. And before I got on the train, I held the ticket up, and I took the following photograph. Now, isn't that an interesting sound? Are your customers leaving your store going, oh. <laughs> For those of you who made that sound, it's lovely, isn't it? You get it. You get what excitement looks like. The opportunity and taking that opportunity. The action. There are some people in this room didn't make any sound. <laughs> and you're the type of people that went, well, that's a waste of card. We're supposed to be saving the planet, Jeff. And you're just wasting, shut up. <laughs> Cut as many trees down as you want because this is rare. <laughs> this is rare. This is extremely rare. We had a horrible time in Berwick. <laughs> Where's the Berwick store? <laughs> Where are you? Uh, yeah. It just rains. <laughs> it just rains. And, and it was bright sunshine. As soon as we got to Berwick, doors open. <laughs> and me and Elliot looked at each other and went, <sighs> and we just got on the next train and we came back to Newcastle. <laughs> quick question for you. Just, just, just a quick question. Uh, this is interactive. Go for it. Uh, what did I do with this photograph? 
Who said that? Who said that? Tweet? Yes. I tweeted it to Virgin, tra uh, Virgin Trains, East Coast, West Coast, every coast I could find. <laughs> it has been, over, uh, since, I did, since I did this, I've done this a few times, it's been liked, shared, and retweeted 2.2 million times. What else did I do with it? Sorry? Framed it. No, Elliot will not let me touch it. It's in his little memory box. I'm not allowed it. So I've just got the photograph. Uh, it was on Facebook. I put it on Facebook. It was my second biggest posting of the year. Only was beaten by my birthday. <laughs> my second biggest posting of that year. 2.2 million impressions and shares and all of it on Twitter. It's content in my book. It is content in my talks. Here I am speaking to 700 amazing people in Celtic Manor about a story that happened some time ago. Who is talking about you? Which customer right now has come into your store, has received celebrity service, and they're like, <laughs> and the first thing that they do is take a photograph and they share it with the world. Because if nobody is sharing our amazing experience, then maybe we're not giving them an amazing experience. To share. We got to the end of the platform. We got back from Berwick. And there's one thing I hadn't done. A video. I thought, oh, I'd love to do a quick video. And upload it to YouTube. And uh, it, was, it, was starting, it was starting to rain now. We had the Berwick influence. It was starting to rain. And uh, I, I started recording the video. And after about 10 seconds of me talking, I suddenly realized that I didn't have the ladies name. We were so busy getting the ticket and paying the money and all the rest of it and getting, you know, to the, to the platform, I didn't get, she didn't have a name badge. And I was like, ah, just do it. Just do the video and I'll call her the lady in the ticket office. Elliot makes a cameo appearance. If anybody wants to go to my YouTube channel and have a look at the video, you can, you can see it yourself. Check out the first comment on the video. Hi, Jeff. That's my grandma. She wrote Elliot's Magic Ticket. I hope you and Elliot had a great trip. I was like, shut up. <laughs> Within a fortnight, I had engraved uh, one of only six celebrity service Star Awards I've ever given to anybody in the world. She spotted the opportunity and she took it. That's the award that I give this lady. But I do go back to that original question, who's talking about you? Which speaker on a, on a stage is currently talking about you right now? Give me a reason to talk about you, or I won't. Excitement, spot the opportunities, take them. What did this cost? Nothing. You can create the experience the world can talk about, but it's a choice. Choose well. I wish you all every future success. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, wasn't that amazing? What a wonderfully uh, clear and eloquent, frankly simple way to elevate our service. So one more round of applause, please, for Jeff Ram.